Tony DeMarco tangled for the better part of 12 rounds in one of the really great ring battles we've seen. It was Carmen Basilio finally wearing down DeMarco and registering a 12th round TKO that uh, brought this return match into such an exciting state. And this Boston Garden is practically jammed with people who are here anticipating a return bout every bit as thrilling as the one they put on in Syracuse. So things are just about ready to go. So now let's switch you up into the center of the ring and to the ring announcer, Fred Russo. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present former lightweight, well-await champion of the world, Tony Canzoneri. One of the country's outstanding featherweight from Holyoke, Bobby Gushain. Also pleasing Basilio can weather a rough punch. An exchange of right hands. Both landed, both hurt. the jaw of Basilio that staggered him back for just a moment into the ropes one minute to go in the fourth round into a right hand. Thirty seconds to go in the fourth round. And now it looks like a slight cut has been opened over the right eye of Carmen Basilio. A very slight cut. the end of round number four. The warning buzzer is sounded. Round number five coming up. This is Tony DeMarco in the black trunks. DeMarco landed some belts to the jaw of Carmen Basilio, which would have felled a lesser opponent. Basilio, an amazingly tough character, just shook them off, kept right on coming. There was a solid left hook that jolted him back into the corner again. Let's see if Carmen can shake this one off. DeMarco banging with a right hand. Tony DeMarco before his hometown fans here in Boston. Finding the range with the heavy artillery. One right hand in there, takes a good left hook. Two minutes to go in the fifth round. And Tony DeMarco steals a look at the clock on the wall. That right hand by DeMarco was taken by Basilio going away. The second right hand was much more solid.
One minute to go in the fifth round. A scheduled 15 round fight for the Wallaway Championship of the World. Carmen Vasilio, the champion in the white trunks against Tony DeMarco. Ten seconds left in the fifth round. Now we're ready to go for the sixth round after a wild fifth round that saw Tony DeMarco stagger Carmen Basilio back into the corner with a tremendous left hook. And then Basilio, as the round wore on, fought the clouds out of his mind and came back with a good defensive manipulation and a good strong attack. Carmen Basilio gifted, gifted with an astounding toughness. into Carmen Basilio and another one. One minute left in the sixth round. seconds to go in round number six. That's the end of the sixth round. We're looking now across the ring into the corner of Carmen Basilio. And they are working on that very slight cut that came over Carmen Basilio's eye. It was a cut which had scarcely no bleeding, more of a scratch than a cut. And a welt has been opened underneath the left eye of Basilio. Round number seven.
big right hand, which brought a cheer from the crowd here. Really didn't land. Basilio pulling his head away, and the punch just spent itself on its way. Thirty seconds to go in the seventh round, and a smacking left hook, and Carmen Basilio's knees out of rubber. DeMarco trying to put across the big one. Carmen Basilio fighting on instinct, has wobbly legs. He backs away from the rushing Tony DeMarco. DeMarco can't get the punch into the head that counts. In his corner, waiting for the bell for round number eight, Carmen Basilio seems to be all right once again. Halfway out to the center of the ring as he waited for the bell to sound. He really took a slashing left hook in that previous round and was just the smallest fraction from dropping to the canvas. Bruise is forming underneath the left eye of Carmen Basilio. Although his handlers have been able to keep the swelling down. We're in the eighth round. Basilio in the white front, Steve Marco in the black. Two minutes to go in the eighth round. DeMarco with a good right. But Basilio just shook that one off. DeMarco getting in there with those big bombs again. Basilio stays on his feet. A little unsteady now, but still up. A little less than a minute to go in the eighth round. seconds left. We're in round number eight of a scheduled 15 rounder. Number eight. We're looking now into the corner of Tony DeMarco. Once again, they go to work quickly on the damaged left eye, pressing the cauterizing agent into it. Just a moment, we have a guest that uh, I certainly want you to meet. 
Can you turn around and look up there so people can see you? This is Dr. Joyce Brothers, who is currently at the $32,000 level in boxing and the $64,000 question. And I understand this is the first fight you've seen in person. Is that right? It's the first championship fight. I've first ever championship seen. fight. Are you enjoying it? Oh, <laughs> 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 Round number nine. Basilio, the champion in the white trunks, has been having a rough time of it the last two rounds as Tony DeMarco has been landing with his biggest punches. But Basilio stays on his feet. Staying in tight is all to the advantage of Basilio. The marker's biggest power comes when he's shooting from long range. Tony DeMarco has slowed his attack in this round. One minute to go in round number nine. He was throwing everything in the book in the two previous rounds. seconds left in the ninth round. Middleweight from Holyoke, Sammy Walker. And the old ripper from Providence, Ralph Zanelli. And that former middleweight great, now back from the service, Norman Hayes. And the former well awake champion of the world, Johnny Saxton. The next boxing show in this garden, Saturday evening, December the 10th, in the feature bout of 10 rounds, outstanding well awake contender, Chico. Vija will meet the undefeated Boston Wellaweight and contender for the Rookie of the Year, Bobby Murphy. <laughs> Officials assigned by Massachusetts State Boxing Commission, a member state of the National Boxing Association. The attending physician, Dr. Hommel. Timekeeper, Phil Flaxman. Judges, Joe Santapio, Joe Santoro. Referee, Mel Manning. Feature bout of the evening, 15 rounds for the Willoway Championship of the World. 
wearing black trunks, weighing 145, the challenger and former champion from Boston, Tony DeMarco. Wearing white trunks, wearing white trunks, the champion from Canastota, New York, Carmen Basilio. Both boys, both boys weigh 145 and one half. I will call you boys a friend of mass state rules, tolerate no holding hitting. When I say break, I'll step back, that's just what I mean. On a knockdown, you must take account of eight. Is that understood? Shake hands now, come up, fighter. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Any questions? Uh, when the guy's knocked down, the, the fighter that's standing up, are you going to call him to come in? Or I'll when he come him. in? He'll come in when I call him in. All right, that's all I want. And now we're ready to go. These two boys have proven time and again that when they come to the ring, they come to fight. Fifteen rounds for the welterweight championship. You're looking at Tony DeMarco, the challenger, who is wearing the black trunks. Carmen Basilio, the champion in the white. Both these boys are converted southpaws. They are natural left-handers who switch their stance in the prize ring. And both of them carry heavier weapons in their left hand. Their left hook, in each case, is the biggest punch they have. DeMarco, you will notice, however, has a fine countering right hand, which he comes over a left-hand lead by the opponent. that right hand whipped over the left hand of Basilio by DeMarco and landing alongside the jaw of Carmen Basilio the champion in the white trunks and right landing well to the jaw and a solid right hand by DeMarco over the left of Basilio again. Basilio is tough and he weathers these punches. One minute to go in the first round. Thirty seconds to go in the first round. Carmen Basilio, the champion in the white trunks. Tony DeMarco in the black, the challenger from Boston. Ten seconds left in the first round. Two, you're looking into the corner of the champion, Carmen Basilio, as Angelo Dundee, his trainer, slips out of the ring ropes. And there's the bell for the second round. In the first round, Tony DeMarco was able to land some right-hand bombs on the head and jaw of Carmen Basilio, but Basilio took them all and was back punching well at the end.
There's some blood over the left eye of Tony DeMarco as a cut has been opened there. cut that looks to be about three quarters of an inch long on the outer fringe of the eyebrow over the left eye of Tony DeMarco. One minute to go in the second round. Good left hook by Basilio on the chin of the Marco. DeMarco's big left was caught a shot from the crowd was blocked by Carmen Basilio. Ten seconds left in round number two. Basilio, the well-away champion, going back to his corner after an action-packed round, which saw him open a cut over the left eye of Tony DeMarco. Carmen Basilio, who took the title last June and is making his first defense of that title, he has had two non-title bouts in between, winning them both. He's working on a winning streak of 14 fights. Carmen Basilio is sort of taking it easy in the corner between rounds. Across the ring from him, Tony DeMarco is getting that eye patched up and a cauterizing agent is being pressured on the cut eye now and then a protective coating of Vaseline will be smeared over it just before the bell. Here's round number three. Basilio on the white trunk seems to have set himself uh, defensively a good deal better for DeMarco's right hand since the first round when he caught a flock of them. But he's shooting that jab out straight and if DeMarco slips the punch he shoves it on up in the air minimizing the ability of DeMarco to come over it with that countering right hand. Cut over to Marco's eye has been opened again and he is bleeding at the nose.
One minute to go. We're in round number three. seconds left in the third round. Armin Basilio scoring beautifully in this round. coming up. This is Carmen Basilio, the runaway champion in the white trunks against Tony DeMarco of Boston. Both fighters weighing 145 and a half for this 15 round title fight here tonight. Left eye of Tony DeMarco, which was open slightly more in the round just concluded, was not completely stopped up between rounds, was bleeding slightly when he answered the bell. A smashing left hook landed alongside the jaw of Carmen Basilio. You're looking at Carmen Basilio, the welterweight champion, as he waits for the bell. There it is. One minute to go in the tenth round.
Ten seconds left. We're in round number ten. Bell ending round number 10. Here's the champion, Carmen Basilio, going to his corner. A Carmen Basilio who has weathered the best that Tony DeMarco has been able to throw at him tonight. And now, of course, he must formulate a big attack of his own. He was really tagged with some tremendous punches by DeMarco. They're still working on the bruise underneath his left eye, and that's Angelo Dundee whose back is to the camera and the towel over his shoulder, who is keeping the swelling down from the bruise mark. Tony DeMarco looked to be getting a little arm weary after the two big rounds in which he threw everything he had in the seventh and eighth rounds at Carmen Basilio. Almost had him down in the seventh round with a tremendous left hook that left Basilio rubber-legged, only to have Carmen come a fighting back and staying upright. Here we go now into the 11th round. The last time these two met back in June, the fight ended in the 12th with Carmen Basilio winning it on a technical knockout. Celio is getting that right hand shot to the jaw of DeMarco in these last two rounds. Although not yet with a really big punch. One minute to go in the 11th round. Thirty seconds left in the eleventh. Sounds. Round number 12 is coming up. This round marked the end of the fight the last time they met last June when Basilio won the title from Tony DeMarco. And Basilio, after riding a heavy storm of leather in the seventh and eighth rounds, has gradually fought his way back to a sharp punching, good defensive fighter once again.
Marco getting wild and Carmen Basilio landing sharply. Staggers, Tony DeMarco. DeMarco is reeling drunkenly now and falls with a left hook, smashing him down to the canvas, followed by a right hand. Four, five, six, seven, eight. He's up at the count of eight. Simon Basilio pounding him in there, and the referee stops the fight. This fight, a duplicate of the one last June the 10th, as Carmen Basilio smashes Tony DeMarco into a helpless condition to have the fight called to a halt in the 12th round on a TKO. We'll have the official time in just a moment. Tony DeMarco is still on the canvas in the center of the ring, unable to get up. He was absolutely helpless, was about to topple. Here's the, the uh, ring position. It's Dr. Edward Hamill in there with him as they help him back to the corner. And we'll have the announcement on the official time in just a moment or two. But Tony DeMarco, after almost flooring Carmen Basilio in the seventh round, and seeing Carmen Basilio whether the biggest punches that DeMarco could throw, then come back and score a 12th round TKO. Here's Eight. the time. Attention. Attention, please. The referee stops the bout. The time, one minute, 54 seconds of the 12th round. The winner and still well away champion of the world, Carmen Basilio. Carmen Basilio.